human beings, it doesn't matter where you go, what culture, um, uh, probably don't do very well in the absence of music or the written word. I think we've made science very utilitarian, which is just not good. Science is just another expression of human creativity, what people want to do. I That's the reason why I've got a doctor of philosophy, right? This used to be science arose out of that tradition, and, and uh, I think left that way, I think science would go much, much further than this very utilitarian role we've given it that says, you know, the nation should invest in science because it'll make our lives better. The nation should invest in science, yes, because it'll make our lives better, but maybe in the same sense that, you know, uh, that any of these kinds of things and that human creativity, you know, makes our lives better. Science. So, I have no doubt, I have absolutely no doubt that everything that we've discovered will one day be of clinical benefit. What I can't tell you is when, and I can't tell you how. It's become, I think, very important for us to justify what we do, particularly, you know, what NIH does and how we fund our research. I think the danger is when we overpromise that we make NIH's job much more difficult. So if your 10-year-old daughter or son or, you know, our 12-year-old cannot tell you, um, you know, what they want to be when they grow up, we don't just turn them outside, you know, the house and say, you know. So I, I think we need a longer-term view of what we do. So, so I'm absolutely certain that everything in science is going to be helpful. Uh, and... Uh, but we don't know when, and that's okay.